Spooky dolls. 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 Spooky Spooky dolls. <laughs> Perfect. Well, welcome to the witching hour. In the, in the stream this hour, we have Boots Pain Gear. <laughs> Adam Deboozdarth. <laughs> Bump Ghoul. Oh. Zarlurk and Isfa Haunted. <laughs> I'm your host. Uh, I'm your host, a Chili Hellies, and welcome to Haunted Dolls. Uh, first up, no. at the top of the hour, I'd like to announce the donation incentive. Uh, King Calamari will do a commission of a, I believe, fetish art of your choice with two characters for seventy-five dollars, folks. It's a good one. Wait, <laughs> whoa, isn't that right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, it was specifically a stupid fetish of your choice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna get like five hundred dollars in donation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, finally. Thank you for the correction, they finally <laughs> split up. Your hasty correction. Very good. Sorry. No take backs. No take backs. <laughs> I was just, just just adding a little extra spook to the hour, folks. So, um. All right, well, so this hour, yeah, this doc brought to us by Critted. And uh, first up, Bump Girl, could you tell us about Lavelle? You're muted, Bump Girl. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost cutter. Lavelle? Lavelle? <laughs> mm -hmm. I did not understand what was being said. Uh... I would like to speak to you of my Etsy website where I am selling the active haunted doll. What a gem uplifting and positive soul paranormal investigators haunted dolls. <laughs> There's a keyboard jamming in the name. <laughs> that is her name. <laughs> You're a active haunted doll. What a gem uplifting and positive soul paranormal investigators haunted dolls. <laughs> uh, I, the seller, Spirited Moon Antiques, am selling uh, Lavelle, active haunted doll. What a gem! Positive <laughs> and uplifting soul paranormal investigators haunted dolls for the price of $83.29. And I would like you to meet her. Mm -hmm. Lavelle is such a gem. We kill her vessel is petite. Her personality isn't. She packs a punch, as others would say, but in a good way. She's my little blessing, my little helper. She's as positive as positive gets, and she's nothing but love. Made from love. <laughs> so far, this is rewarded exactly the way somebody who is haunted by this doll and is desperate to get rid of it would reward it. <laughs> Speaking of haunted, Shameboy69 has claimed that prize. Uh, wow. Shameboy69 says, give me that fet fet. So <laughs> good luck, King Calamari. Yeah, and, and congratulations to the winner of a stupid fetish. A stupid fetish, yes. Shameboy69. <laughs> I have had Lavelle... Active haunted doll. What a gem! Uplifting and positive <laughs> soul. Paranormal investigator haunted dolls. In my home for three and a half years now. Adopting her from New Orleans from one of our very well respected friends who have their own large collection. Always so pleased to adopt from them. What really made my heartstrings tug to Lovell. What a gem! Active haunted doll. <laughs> uplifting and positive soul. Paranormal investigator haunted dolls. Was that. Now you got to go back to where you were. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't find it. Okay. Uh, I felt as if she picked me. Uh, her, it was her eyes, not any other spirit's eyes. I felt like I already knew her before even holding her or knowing about her. 
As the caretaker before me, she was a little reluctant to really let her go, which piqued my interest and tugged my art strings even more. If I remember correctly, she told me that she was a lucky one for her. There is way too many pronouns in here. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> that Lovell, active haunted doll, what a gem, uplifting and positive soul. <laughs> Pamela Lovell, investigators haunted dolls, knew her life before even explaining to her. That Lovell knew... Active haunted doll gem, uh, soul, uh, paranormal ha- haunted doll. Uh, new I, things I just, about I her. I just want to that- say I've, I've brought up the doll of the stream so that we can all see it. It's Oh, wow. Yeah. I am so glad I did not read the instructions and I have what no idea gem. how to see this doll. Uh, <laughs> I love Fell uh, lucky um, knew things about somebody that nobody else knew and kept somebody safe. <laughs> somebody laughed while saying that somebody thinks that Lavelle, active haunted doll, gem, doll, <laughs> uplifting haunted, uh, had psychic abilities. As my art string were tucked too much, I knew I had to bring her back to my home and into my life. It was a feeling that I felt in my gut. It felt like I automatically knew and loved her. I'm uh, still angry. Oh, you're right, I am. <laughs> I love her uh, so much, you can have her. <laughs> so that was the paragraph entitled Meet Lovell. And now I would like to tell you about Lovell's life. She was just like an ordinary girl growing up in the ni- early 1900s. She was only 18 when she passed away, which had to happen on her birthday of all days. She was a beautiful, smart, happy, loving, smart, and oh so caring. Uh, you know what? She was a beautiful uh, girl, happy, smart, loving, and so caring. But one day she decided to observe <laughs> butterflies in the front of her yard. And while doing so, she was kidnapped. Her mother bought her a beautiful dress with butterflies on it. And I know this since she has shown me the dress. Uh, this is sequential, apparently. Maybe not. Uh, Lavelle, yeah, you know the drill, loves flowers and butterflies. She was simply and innocently trying to catch and release a butterfly flying around when I, man, had pulled up and told her there was some kind of emergency. This you know man what, was a man. I think um, this part, I would, you know, maybe maybe we should just learn some important warnings about Lavelle. I'm not so sure we need the, these details necessarily. Okay. Uh, that that uh, she she just stepped into the white van of the man, and then does, she doesn't speak about it because she saves the gruesome details, yeah. which I assume are gruesome. But the only thing she has shown me is the happiness on that day, and though not before the worst thing that happened to her, she is not one to dwell. It's like now she has found a new profession apart from loving butterflies, which is loving and helping others who aren't butterflies. Uh, keeping them safe. I also felt her with me out and about as some odd situations where I had, may have been kidnapped. Who knows? I mean, I was in some very strange and off-putting situations before. Wait, what? so you don't what? know if you were kidnapped or not? Like, or situations correct? where you may have been kidnapped, that if not for Laville. Not okay. Bumpro editorializing. That was the text. Yeah, no. the butterflies. The butterflies. Yeah, I threw that in there. That was me. But uh, <laughs> nope. Just picture uh, you at a bar with a guy being like, "Oh, the second you- time the butterflies. The, the butterflies really existed to um, observing them and then being kidnapped and then getting a dress with butterflies on it." Um, uh, and and apparently, I have also maybe, but not really, but maybe been kidnapped. Um, and Lovell was there, but she wasn't really. But I felt like she has been with me even when I leave the house. Or any time I have a stressful situation, I look at her and I can almost feel her replenishing me, mind and body. Uh, you can always message me for more information, as I am limited per Etsy guidelines. I'm really? Limited. <laughs> but you will know in your art if she is right for you. Uh, at Spirited Moon Antiques. Important, though, if you feel a look in a spirit in your heart and a tug, that is how you know spirit is meant for you. You will feel it in your soul. Message me with any questions you have regarding Lavelle. <clears throat> Active haunted doll. What a gem. <laughs> Lifting and positive soul. Paranormal investigators haunted dolls. <laughs> okay. Uh, or haunted ob- dolls and objects in general. There is so much more to say, but I am limited as what is allowed per Etsy guidelines. <laughs> All right. Uh, great. Thank you. Uh, Boots. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I, w- I would like to hear a little bit more about Haunted Doll Nora. 
Haunted Doll Nora? Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, the item is unavailable, so I cannot bring up a picture of Haunted Del Nora so, so that we can see it. So we're just going to have to use the uh, theater of the mind oh, no. to, to create a, uh, a visual scape of this. Uh, <clears throat> Haunted Del Nora sees the beauty in this porcelain Del Nora. What? Oh, see the beauty of this porcelain Del Nora. Uh, this is sold by Glitter V's for $83.28. A cursed number for sure. Uh, <clears throat> I guess it's a lot of text, so I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah I think, read I think whatever. Choose a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Blessings. Welcome to my store. Thank you for your time to meet Nora. You must nope, not Nora. Me- oh, yeah. oh God, to meet <laughs> Nova. It's a baby. <laughs> it's it's a, an improvement over the over Nora. <laughs> it's the new. <laughs> it's new. You must be 18 or older to purchase her. You are purchasing a tangible item. Of course, the gorgeous doll itself. Uh, and, of course, the gorgeous doll itself. And if you would like her story to be sent with her, please just let me know. If the paranormal frightens you, please do not continue to read. For those of you who have purchased from or follows me, <laughs> then you then you know. That I have a special <laughs> gift. I am psychic. I can communicate telepathically. I also see things that others cannot. I pick on very strong energies. I tease them. Hey, strong <laughs> energy, what you doing today? <laughs> Playing with your friends, strong energy? I don't the energy <laughs> books. <laughs> I can sense that there is activity in dolls, jewelry, houses, etc. Sorry, act. Act. Uh, I do belong to a very well-known paranormal group. <laughs> I will not name them. No. We use EVP testers on all items. We do rituals to communicate with the spirits. This is the most effective way to get information. I have a huge collection of spirited dolls. Some are from Wicca Sophia, a dear <laughs> friend of mine who passed away. Whoa. So Wicca Sophia, her friend... Christian Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> it's Baha'i Bill. <laughs> um, in her will, she gave me her collection of spirited dolls to pass on. However, I have my own as well. I am the host of many, uh, oh, sorry, I am the host of, of many of mine that I will not sell. I will never list anything active if it is not that would not be fi- I will never <laughs> list anything active if it is not that would not be fair to anyone. I am very serious about my gift and my active items. If you have any questions regarding anything, please do not hesitate to ask. I do not edit <laughs> or use special. Wait, I do not edit or use special effects in any pictures. I well, use no, regular. Hey, I use a regular digital camera. The dolls in the it's, pictures. It's par- no, no, you can't read that part. That paranormal stuff's too too scary for me. I don't okay. want to hear any more about the digital camera. Okay, it's good. <laughs> All right, it's def. Yeah, this doll is definitely named Nova at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> to yeah, the point where apologies. You, like, like the mic. I guess it must have been misspelled in the name. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think, or maybe she just realized Nova doesn't sell as well, but she doesn't edit, so she just. Yeah. <laughs> That's title. true. Nova was born in Inglewood with many siblings by four different fathers. She was the fifth out of nine children. She had it rough from the day she was born. Her mother was extremely unfit, as she was exhausted from having so many children and men in and out of her life. Like the children are coming in and out of her life? (laughs) She she didn't keep track of them all. I guess you live here. I don't know. Most in this area she was raised in did not make it to the retirement years due to gangs, gun violence, and drugs. Uh, no, we, we walked into a Fox News segment. Yeah, we did. All right, let's just, uh, I'm going to skip down. It gets significantly less funny from here. I oh, does agree. It? Sarla, maybe you could tell us about the sorority sisters from Berkeley University. <laughs> they, they meet Trisha and Jenna, sorority sisters, Berkeley University, haunted doll, spirit paranormal, seller afterlife antique shop. The price fifty five dollars and fifty two cents. A deal. 
<laughs> for two dolls at once? Wow. Okay. So Trisha and Jenna were found in a boarding house near Berkeley University where they went to school. The person who owned the boarding home was cleaning the room of the person that had passed, which we believe it's Trisha in white. Okay. She heard noises, whispers, and giggles, but no one was there. As she was cleaning, she looked up and found two Barbie dolls on a shelf. Oh, no. Huh? <gasps> That's right. You pay $55 for two Barbies. Uh, she was going near them, and she felt a strong feeling that she should not touch them, so she didn't. Went upstairs, then back to the room, and both dolls were now lying on the bed. She boxed them up right away. The girl that passed was known to be very snooty, conceited, so conceited, sorority type girl. Always drinking, so it was no surprise she died of alcohol poisoning. Trisha mentioned that her friend Jenna died in a drunk driving accident, and she implied the blonde doll in blue was her friend Jenna. However, Jenna couldn't be reached, only Trisha. Just because Jenna couldn't be reached doesn't mean she isn't there, so it imperative that these two stay together. Uh, if you have questions regarding the adoption of Trisha and Jenna, please message me. They need a forever home. Could it be yours? <laughs> please ask me about reserves. Like the dogs at the pound? Just, yeah. <laughs> For Etsy, we must state that this item is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Thank you for visiting the Afterlife Antique Shop. Sorry, no returns. <laughs> God, like a, a forever yeah. home. You know, <laughs> a forever uh, home. <laughs> speaking of um, <laughs> it being similar to dog adoption, Adam, can you tell us a little bit about Alexandria? <laughs> <laughs> right after this. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I find... Alexandria mm -hmm. has attachment issues. <laughs> My name is Aeonian Spirits, and for $52.52, you could own Alexandria. Do not purchase this. The lowest without... energy home shopping network host I've ever heard. Yes. Do not purchase without <laughs> approval first. Please fill out the adoption form to be eligible. More information can be found under important note below. Thank you for understanding. Here's the adoption form. <laughs> Please fill this out to best of your ability. There, are, This will only need to be done once, and then your information will be saved for future adoption requests. Please I'm be right, sure well. to be truthful and add as much detail as possible. Including your credit card credit. number. Yeah. <laughs> Um, please answer the following questions. Name, age, who are you interested in adopting? Why do you connect with the spirit or spirits in question? And slash, why do you think they would be well suited for your home? What are your interests and hobbies slash day to day routine? What is your home environment like? Little tidbits about the house, your property, energy, household interactions, etc. Who lives in your household? Are there pets? Are there living family members or kids or spirits, etc.? Are they aware and accepting that spirits may be moving in? Do you have experience with haunted dolls or the paranormal? It's totally if K okay. If not, if yes, please describe. What are your preferred methods of communication with spirits? Do you prefer the Ouija? Do you prefer a, a pendulum? Do you prefer the mediation? Do you prefer uh, EVPs? Do you prefer dream weaving? <laughs> it's et cetera. Again, it's okay if you don't know how to do these things yet. I just want to point out that Ouija is spelled O-U-J-I-A, so it's an algae board. An algae board. <laughs> algae board. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, would you like to share a photo of the space that you plan to keep their vessel? That's is optional. And, oh, and please... So you're just you're just casing my house to rob. I was going to say, uh, are you? Uh, yeah, are you away from the house for long periods of time? Are you going on a vacation soon? <laughs> oh, I need I need to bring this doll up on stream. Hold on, this is. Uh... <laughs> please bring up this, this one's doll. terrifying. <laughs> it's just that's Carl Winslow <laughs> trapped. No, that's not that's that's not it. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I'm waiting. There. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I need oh, you to re oh say before you before you ask this doll into your home. I need you to review our adoption rules. Do not. No, you will now listen to them. <laughs> okay. Please do not place your per 
do not place your purchase until you have been approved. Additional questions need to be asked. Without approval, your order will be canceled. So any, any spirits adopted through our shop must be returned to us if you no longer wish to have them in your house. No exceptions. Or refunds. Do not, do not house haunted vessels in glass cases. <laughs> Glass is a barrier for spirits <laughs> and can negatively affect your new friends. Uh, friends. Do not attempt to alter or switch your spirit's vessel in any way. Almost all requested alterations besides granting specific items is done when they arrive here. Wait, what? 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 Like... I was assuming it meant, like, don't chop off your Barbie's hair or, like, draw on their arms or anything, but, like, requested alterations? Yes. Is this, listing is, this listing is for a tangible item. Yeah, you know, do, are you going to give me any other just, like, random bullshit by any chance with that tangible <laughs> item? You will re <laughs> yes, you will receive <laughs> one porcelain doll, one doll stand, oh, one what? bag of items. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Which includes rose leaves, rose hips, and one tumbled rose quartz. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to return this. My rose quartz came untumbled. <laughs> oh, so, I'm sorry. I, 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 took, I took this. Uh, I took all these things into uh, an escape room with me, and I was not able to escape. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alexand the wizard gets back. <laughs> Alexandria is a 16-inch porcelain doll with a wire cloth body. She will come with a doll stand, as that is what she prefers. <laughs> she will also come with a bag of rose hips and leaves, as well as rose quartz crystals. She adores rose quartz and would love to be granted some jewelry or carvings of this crystal. Yeah, Alexand you know, I think that... Uh, I don't know that I really care about this next part that's just well, kind of boring. Well, it's I, a, just a dumb, boring story about a doll that's made up. Yeah, it, it is, but I do want to know uh, what she's fine with in a home, possibly. Mm. I'm finding it fine with a home. It's a two-line paragraph. Yeah, two-line yeah. paragraph. It's yeah. uh, right before Fuck. important in caps. AC. Alexandria is in a, Alexandria is fine in a home with kids. Pets and other spirits. She does have some issues of being around succubi or other sexual spirits and should be kept away from them, however. They'll just fight constantly. Uh, uh, they just start spraying around your house and you're yeah. never going to get it up. Yeah. Okay. Well, so yeah. as, as, a, as a minor note, I went to look up the picture of the doll and uh, she's apparently been discounted $20. <laughs> So she's now only thirty four ninety nine. Oh. oh, wow. Maybe it's people don't want to, like, fill out a form to even have a shot at buying her. <laughs> like, maybe that's it. <laughs> what? what? It's a lot of work. Huh? Uh, St. Isfahan, I, could you tell me about um, an antique Japan rare haunted full celluloid nearly 100-year-old paranormal spirit doll rose? What? <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. Excuse me? <laughs> All right, folks. I'll, put that, I'll put that in the chat for you. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, step right up. If I got a deal for you, folks. All right, uh, step right up. We got here. We got a, what? What is this? This uh, some kind of antique Japan rare haunted uh, full celluloid lodge, nearly hundred year old active paranormal spirit doll rose. Uh, I'm uh, I'm penny for a pound. I'll let you have this for the low low price of eighty eight dollars and fourteen cents. Man, wow, I don't. Wow, a it. yard sale. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so everyone thanks for stopping by i am offering one of my special dolls for my collection i acquired her at a psychic expo um i, <laughs> I came across her around three years ago and have had her in my collection ever since there was just a special energy about her she's very special spirit energy and she is a very positive spirit okay so meet rose this is what she shared with me over our work together. She was alive around the 1800s. She was very kind and sweet to everyone. She grew up very poor and would sell witch women's dresses to make money for her and her father. Her mother, uh, she died during childbirth, so she never got to meet her. She was an only child to live with her father. She was 18 when one of the rich men in town caught her eye. Can you believe this? 
she was known to be very beautiful, and he would come over where she worked to try and court her. Rose never liked him. <laughs> People write these <laughs> these bodice ripper novels. <laughs> 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 these so many commas. So many commas. <laughs> Uh, loveless marriage, bloody bloodies. Uh, okay, <laughs> while having to work, I experience the smell of roses, light tapping on my kitchen window. She's trying to do some ASMR for me. She has spoken to me on the <laughs> finger board, which I spelled correctly, so suck it, and is good with pendulum. Uh, she also likes spirit dice. Uh, that's a favorite of hers. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if you if you like a warm, loving energy to watch over your family, this lady's for you. Uh, she's very timid, but once she knows she can trust you, uh, you'll be both be great friends. She and help with spell casting, keeping negative energies at bay, uh, help you to love yourself again. I don't know, wow. just you, you hash it out with her, okay? Rose finds something special in everyone. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got to take this. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, is that okay? Uh, she just called to me at the expo, so I had to purchase her <laughs> and take her home. Uh, she was quite warm. Remember, she's nearly 100 years old. She's quite worn. Uh, she needs her stringing fixed as they're all very loose. Uh, she's darker in some areas than others, uh, mostly a personality. Uh, I think this is from storage over the years before I got her, but she's still a very interesting looking antique doll. Uh, let's see. What else did I say about this thing? Uh, she could sit okay. Uh, but we'll need to be restrung. I always kept her in the original state that I found her in, as I prefer the more original a doll is, the better. Uh, don't fix what's not broken, as they say. Um, okay, so even if she's broken. Yeah, I don't care. Once you buy, you can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's got a chip out of one of her feet on the toes, uh, and a hairline crack on her hand. Uh, she's got a few small marks here and there, but this is expected for how old she is and adds to her ventures appeal. You know, you, uh, she's full celluloid. And large. She's approximately 18 inches in height. Uh, she's marked MC in a circle and also made in Japan on the back of her neck. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. It's kind of, if she, okay, yeah. No, made I in Japan, no, but... She is genuinely Japanese. I do know now. Antique Japan, rare, haunted, full celluloid, large, nearly 100 year old, active paranormal spirit doll rose. Yeah. Legit made in Japan. Yeah. And everyone, in, yeah. everyone in chat. Yes, I do really want to see that image, but it, it's gone, and we. Yep. We will not be able to yeah. See it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Sadly, the doc itself doesn't have the pictures, so we we only get the pictures of the of the ones that haven't sold. Uh, and how yeah. old is this doc? I'm just curious. It's an it's an older one. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's what's it's from 2019, so it's a year and a half oh, old. Oh, okay. Well, just Still. you know, these dolls move fast. I guess price <laughs> to move. So. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm so I'm tired. Well, 2020 of 2020 is a hot market for haunted dolls. <laughs> true, yeah. Pretty haunted year, good for haunted dolls. Uh, I'm going to move on to a section of this document um, called "Less is not always more, but pure evil is dollars." And I'd like to tell you about <laughs> haunted coconut head Jordan. I'd uh, sell her grandma's haunted items. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now we're talking. Oh, shit. The, pr the price is one seventy three fifty four. Mr. <laughs> Jordan was a traveler. He went all over the world with his travels. What no one knew about him was he was a very sick and sadistic man who got away with murder time and time again worldwide. He comes from the dark room in the basement as well. He is one I don't ha care to have around very long. As a matter of fact, I'm putting him back until he's rehomed. Grandma had not a had a lot of time to fully get to know all the facts of his story. She did say he is dark and pure evil and should be in the hands of someone who can control his dark side, not use him for evil. Don't let him fool you. He is pure evil. Etsy says I must say for entertaining purposes only. With that in mind, follow me on Instagram and Facebook for updates and activity of Grandma Spirits. And uh, Boots, I don't know if you can throw a photo of that one. Yeah, yeah. It's a, this one's a weird one. I'm Ooh, just I bringing like it that. up now. Uh, it's that. That's that's the total, th that's the total thing what? that we get. It's just... Is that a... Cake? What, what a great it's a framing! Coconut. That it, is. It's called coconut yeah, it's, head Jordan. <laughs> it's a very, very well framed picture for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah, Bump Girl. Please, can you can you tell me about this next doll, the haunted doll slash haunted awakening doll slash some other things? Haunted doll with teeth slash <laughs> corpse like haunted doll slash death like doll slash unearthly doll slash scary doll. Just in case yeah. you didn't get that. It's <laughs> It's a scary doll. Um, 
Yeah. Well, it doesn't really have a name. I do, though. I am macabre manifestation. I am selling unearthly doll, scary doll, uh, for $208.25. I can't handle this anymore. This was passed down to me from my mother who got it from her mother who for the last four generations it has been passed down. Every time it has been stored away because when it is not weird and crazy things happen. Excuse my language, but I am done. There is no way in hell I am giving this to my daughter. It is just too much for our family to explain. Please don't ask for what we have had happen. I am not explaining it again. If you want it, have at it. It is 24 inches tall. I'm not messing with it any more than that. Please look at the pictures. You can message me if you want any other physical info, like weight or something. Other than that, I'm not responsible for anything after purchase. Have a great day! I, I don't care. Just get it out of my house. Oh, I want 200 bucks for it, though. <laughs> yeah, there's one photo of it. The teeth are horrifying. That's all I'll say. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, Sarlacc, Sarlacc, <laughs> it, and it's sold. It. It's, this one actually sold. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, just put more slashes in your doll names. It does everything, apparently. Um, yeah. There's a bull market for haunted evil dolls. Not so much for haunted nice dolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like poor yeah, little uh, sp Speaking of Zarla, could you tell us about this next doll from Moonlight Boxes? Mm -hmm. A haunted clown doll, you mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'd like to point out that I, I believe uh, Moonlight Boxes has changed this business name to Diane's Boutique. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get this haunted clown doll uh, for $159.66. This is Absinthe the doll. He has the spirit of a 13-year-old boy living in him. Absinthe can be often be spotted in different positions than the one you left him in. His head will also seemingly turn and switch the angle in which he appears to be looking in. He seems to be fond of animals, but does not like other kids. He is a moderately kind spirit. He means no harm, but ten can tend to get easily angered. Doll is for experienced ghost hunters and spirit item collectors only. Absinthe likes to sit near books and on bookshelves. If he gets angry, he may be required to be kept in a glass box. <laughs> no, 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 no. You cannot keep in glass box. It is bad for spirit. <laughs> no, nope. bad, bad. Funny, but, Go in your box. It, sometimes you have to put spirits in time out. <laughs> <laughs> Go in your box and you think about what you've done. Uh, no, I, absence I, was sometimes, in sometimes I put the doll in the glass box, and sometimes I put the uh, the incubi and the succubi in the black glass box, just to keep them separated, <laughs> but also give them chance to roam. <laughs> absence was found in an antique shop in Pennsyl Pennsylvania. Shop workers <laughs> described him as having a very strong spirit attached, more than any other item in the shop thus far. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Uh, the doll's production date is unknown. Doll and all other items are not guaranteed to be haunted. <laughs> That was promised an evil clown doll. <laughs> That's rather benign. Yeah. Wait. Well, uh... There was I'm nothing about the clowniness of the doll. Yeah. Absinthe. The clowning part was you know, what? you know what? I'm good with that. I'm... That's fine. That's fine. Oh, let it out. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really for time, I may have skipped ahead a little too early. Uh, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam, could you tell me about this, an energetic doll named Greta, possibly? Yeah, let me find Greta. Is it? Yeah, Two oh, there it is. Two T's and Greta. Greta is a very active haunted spirit, and I am home to spirits, and for $62.47, you can have Greta. <laughs> Meet one of my personal favorite spirits who has been with me three years, Greta. Greta has been found at an estate sale that I went to in Georgia. <laughs> Immediately upon arriving, she f she showed activity. She would turn my lights on and off, along with turning on my upstairs bathroom faucet. Not sure why, perhaps to get my attention. Greta <laughs> is great at producing orbs, especially on a video. She will wow. make my EMF meter spike on command, and Greta told me that she wants to be rehomed, and it is time. <laughs> it's very hard when your doll tells her tells you that you want to. She wants to move on, but I'm going to respect Greta's wishes. 
Um, she is sad to leave her friends here, but she is ready for the next caregiver to love her. Greta is from London. I am not sure how she ended up in Georgia. She died when she was seven years old in 1863 at the hands of a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Violent wow. crime. Honestly, you know, the best story so far. So. Yeah, this is... Catholic school was much. It was much tougher back then, and we were all more pious for it. Yeah, this, was, this, was a, this, this is the season three of American Horror Story, doll. Yes. Sometimes yeah. the nuns kill you with a ruler, and it just sends you to heaven, and that's that's the price you pay. No, it sends you to doll. It sends you yes. straight to doll. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these, these are those better times people were always talking about <laughs> back in the good old days yeah. um, all she would tell me is that she was killed for being too fat which was very <laughs> rare then and that the nun was never charged for her, ze- her death <laughs> I've asked Greta if she is sad and to surprise she is not Greta is a very happy child, and all she is asking for is her, for her next caregiver to give her love and not leave her. This is a spirit that my daughter connected with as soon as she came home. My daughter also sees, she sees the spirits too, like me. Um, she will bring you much joy like she did to myself. She gives off a very positive vibe throughout the whole house, and many will feel this. Greta works with telepathy. <laughs> Greta works well telepathically, dousing rods and great with the pendulum. And um, as much as I am sad to let Greta go, I know she is ready. Please do not adopt Greta if you are not up for activity in your house. Okay? Because any questions about Greta, please email me. Love and light. My name is Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alice. <laughs> I wish I could tell more about Here how she's active. Is, Greta works well telepathically, dowsing rods, and great with the pendulum. <laughs> she's fantastic with the pendulum. Greta works well we'll telepathically, dowsing rods! She's also <laughs> clicker trained and house trained. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Boots, could you tell us about this uh, Beth, please? Beth? I could tell you all about Beth. Uh, you, oh, you mean... Gives oh my god! Sorry, I yeah. looked at the price. Um, <laughs> ghostly Christmas Caroler Beth, vintage toddler porcelain collector's oh. doll, haunting eyes, extremely oh active during the winter oh months. My, oh Oops, my god! You've got to show us this photo, by the this, way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this thing. Uh, please, uh, like, extract the your the the image, uh, JPEG, yeah, yeah, from yeah. That <laughs> and just put it in the chat, and I'll, I'll put it up on the stream. Um. <laughs> Anyway, this is sold by Blue Moon Antiques for the low price of $798.28 US. Uh, So, wow. This is sick. How do I even get this photo? I got $800. Uh, Here, I'll I'll, I'll do it very quickly. You vamp while while I get this. I have $800 set aside for my haunted doll budget, but I just don't know how to spend it. (laughs) It's Christmas. I want to make sure I make a good investment because I don't want to buy a cheap haunted doll and have to get a new one after it breaks, you know? Listen, you Someone owed me budget this one. That was the first one that I bothered to look at other than the coconut. The coconut was strangely <laughs> deal withable, but this this one, I was like, what does an $800 doll, $800 doll look like? And, and it looks this, like screaming. Check out this purple-eyed doll. <laughs> <laughs> it looks How so big screaming. do you think you know, this doll is? Do you think this doll is maybe like toddler-sized? Because I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. It's singing the it's much. singing the uh, the famous Christmas carol. Screaming <laughs> 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 the, the Christmas of carol of in the no, it's, circle it's, of hell. Yeah, it's like glow, <laughs> and then just continues like the, the O's for the rest of its life. In your dreams, for the, for the rest of the eighth circle of the eternity. Oh of hell. yeah. Okay, <clears throat> here's the story. We recently obtained several haunted dolls from a neighboring country from the home of a lady named Margot County. Sorry, mm-hmm. <laughs> there were a total. There are of, no neighboring countries on this continent. There are neighboring country. <laughs> there were a total of two thousand three hundred and five dolls in her home, all in except. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I've I've uh, I've seen no. that, I've seen the that home listing. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> <laughs> All in exceptionally good condition. They were in every room of her large house, including the attic. Yeah, they fucking were! Basement and garage. Some were adult size, sitting in chairs or standing in the middle of a room. <laughs> She never married huh? and never had children. The dolls were no all shit. she had in the world. <laughs> Margot was a ghost hunter before ghost hunting was cool. A hipster ghost hunter. She was a... She had a little mustache and she twirled it up at the ends with wax. Spirit wax. <laughs> she was a psychic medium who began performing readings when she was 12 years old and read for 70 years. She Possible. traveled all over the world and had exceptional experiences. During her journey, she became attached to certain spirits, even more than they were attached to her. When we walked into her home, we were taken back by the intense energy one of or maybe our... it was the 2,305 dolls that took you aback? <laughs> that is an intense energy. You gotta make sure all their eyes are pointing at the door when you walk in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just... <laughs> and they're all making Zorak blink noises. <laughs> <laughs> so far we've learned more about the doll's owner than we have about the doll. <laughs> it's, more, it's more interesting, I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> One of our plausibly even real, like <laughs> plausibly <laughs> terrifying still, but oh yeah, that's definitely real. One of our friends does investigations, and he said the energy there was the strongest he's ever felt. Maybe that's what you get when you jam two thousand three hundred and five fucking haunted dolls into your house. Yeah, I Margo... don't know what it is, but I'm getting a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Margot is still alive. But she's not well. Oh, no shit. <laughs> she I'm had... getting better. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she had to give up her home and her beloved doll collection, and she is now living in a care facility and suffering from dementia. We were told by the auctioneer that she returned twice to visit her dolls, but she wasn't permitted to take any of them with her. Is that how that... I... Almost Seems felt a little mean. sorry for her, but I'm also still scared of her. And like, uh, at least to give her oh, one. So <laughs> I mean, mixed. Because she's like, definitely oh, a haunted no, grandma. She didn't live with her. A haunted uh, grandma should at least uh, have one haunted doll. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, so much to ask yeah. for. I mean, suffering from dementia just, it, it just as it says, you need dolls. You need your <laughs> crazy dolls with you. Yeah, she has 2,000 she, she of them. Cold, she can't go cold turkey on her dolls. <laughs> She can't go get new ones. She's gonna go through with doll. Listen, can I, can I explain? Oh my god! Can I explain? Can I explain the negotiation process in this? Uh, yeah. yeah we asked about Beth herself. No, no, I don't care about that. We asked for the most haunted dolls there, and Margot's great niece directed us to the dolls we inevitably purchased. Each doll was loved and cared for by Margot, as though they were her children. Each doll is said to have an active spirit inside. Meet the doll. Her name is Beth, and she's part of the Donna Rubert Christmas Carolers Collection. Beth has been separated from her best friends, Lori and Don, who belong to Margot as well, and were also part of the same collection. They were bought by others. Margot kept the three together, and they lived in the doll room most of the year. She like every <laughs> every room in her house was a doll room. Doll I mean, let's room. get yeah. real here. She <laughs> fucking quotes. She put them in the living room from mid November to mid March. Mm. Lori and Don were not active at all. Beth was a different story. According to Margot's notes, Beth is extremely active during the winter months, but not every winter. Some years she's quiet, and other years there's activity every single day. <laughs> Beth often moved from the living room to the dining room for the window view. This often happened overnight. A couple times she was caught on video by Margot's great niece moving slowly across the room. Uh, this was many years ago and we don't have access to the video. Wish we did. She said, like that. <laughs> she said a little girl spirit appeared next to Beth playing with her and speaking with her. Others have seen her too. Margot also said, winter spirits visit when Beth is active. Northern spirits and spirits of lore and legend. Her exact words. Why isn't that in quotes? Whatever. <laughs> During lively winters, there was a lot of activity. Quiet winters being little to none. 
Beth has a little girl's yeah, voice. That's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the definition of lively and active and quiet. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's talk, can I hear about a haunting feature? First? Yeah. Another haunting feature is her mouth. It is usually in the open position, but Margot and others have seen her mouth completely closed several times. Of course, we can't verify any claims made by others, but since she's been in our care, we have had a couple of experiences with her. Um, and then it takes a while to get to that, it seems. Yeah, wow. you know, I, I, think the, I think the last thing maybe I'd want to hear is your, is your final note uh, about her. Sure. Um, potentially. Uh, note. We can't verify the claims made by others, and we are not asserting the objects sold in the site having uh, have magical or have yeah magical or paranormal powers. We are simply presenting the history as told to us, as well as our personal experiences. Please note the prices are set due to the item itself, its age status, and its interesting and unique history. Also, we mark up very fairly and reasonably based on the price we paid for the item when we purchased it from the previous owner. However, we cannot guarantee activity. At the same time, we want to emphasize there may be shockingly intense activity. <laughs> oh, my. There Only may by- be no activity. There may be a shockingly intense amount of activity. Once you place the order, she may show up at your house. <laughs> <laughs> or we may just take your money. <laughs> Only buy an item if you're a patient person pertaining to both possibilities. I like peas. <laughs> That's how you pertain. So uh, she's not haunted. Just just wait. Your patient person <laughs> pertaining to possibilities. She wasn't so, uh, haunted this winter. Wait wait till next one. <laughs> yeah, next winter. Yeah, that's that's one. So uh, you know, I know what you guys are saying out there in the audience is this really hasn't been F plus enough. So uh, Isfahan, can you tell us about Katrina? I sure can. Okay, folks, this is what you've been waiting for. All right, uh, all right, gentlemen, gather around. Here's what you're going to want to hear about: a uh, haunted doll, Katrina, sexual, spiritual companion, <laughs> moans, whispers, satisfaction, sexual release. ASMR yes, doll. <laughs> My name is Mystic Magic's Vessel. Mystic no. Magic's Vessels, sorry. <laughs> and uh, she's going for the cool price of $138.82. Yeah. Today I present you with the extremely active and energetic spirit of Katrina. She is a powerful sexual spirit. She is currently in search of an adventurous partner. Katrina is meant for someone who deeply needs to express themselves sexually. Like when really I first received get Katrina, out there more often get a room or something. Like <laughs> honestly, just please. When I first received Katrina, she may be promised to find her a sexual companion. She is now ready for someone. She has been highly active since I received her. She has only became more active. I know you will feel chills when you receive her. She does this to anyone who is sexually interested in her. She, she will appear in well your dreams. Well introduced, Achilles Healy. Well introduced. Yeah. This is how all true sexual spirits work. Do not be fooled by fakes. Fake sexual <laughs> spirits. <laughs> For the brand name sexual spirit yeah. on the box. <laughs> when you bond with her, she will appear as a full figure apparition. Oh yeah, she was studied Papa by boom. Mike Coven because of her vast abilities for pleasuring people. Ooh. Katrina is of German ancestry. There is a lot of McGickle blood in her bloodline. She has perfected her pleasuring abilities over many years. When she appears to you, you will see a young woman. Katrina passed away when she was 23. She will appear barely dressed. Her long brown hair will drape over her form. When she approaches you, you will feel her entire body wrap around you because oh. she's a snake. It will feel <laughs> like a real person is with you. You will hear her breathing and whispering. She may even let out a seductive moan that will drive you wild with lust. You will feel her on you. Her soft hands will slide over your body. Your hands will be held in hers. You will feel pleasure all the way into the tips of your toes. You will feel... <laughs> That's what it'll sound like. You will feel only passion as you and her join bodies. You will never have another experience like this. She does not have a sexual preference. Katrina is a very open-minded spirit, and I'm trying to sell this damn thing. So you may notice paranormal activity with Katrina in your home. This is how she beckons you. You may also smell perfume-like scent. You will sometimes hear... Not perfume, but a (laughs) perfume-like scent. (laughs) There's a difference. 
<laughs> you will sometimes hear heavy breaths coming from her. You may even hear someone walking behind you at odd times in the day. She is a proven sexual spirit, and I know you desire her. Hey. <laughs> oh. I have been rehoming spirits for over a decade. I've used other websites, but only recently came to Etsy. I'm not a new seller. I'm ex very experienced, and I've helped hundreds upon hundreds of people find spirit companions. Per Etsy's policy, I must state that spirit vessels are for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Boots, do we have time for a list of titles? Oh, sure. All right, we got a list of titles. Uh, let's go start with Bump Girl, Zarla, Adam, Boots, Isfahan, then me. Let's get through these titles. Wait, where? Uh, yeah, it's at where the very bottom. Is it? Oh, titles of Dolls that didn't oh, okay. make the cut. Titles of Dolls that didn't make the cut. Okay, sorry. What, what, oh, okay, what's okay, our order? Okay, <laughs> uh, we'll go Bump Girl, okay. Zarla. <laughs> okay, Bump Girl, I got, I got Zarla, it. I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. Boots, Adam, Isfahan, me. Okay. There you go. Selena. Mother role for spirit children. Haunted. <laughs> Sexy Suze, the voluptuous curvy man teaser spirit vessel. Meet Giselle, beautiful model, haunting glass eyes, overdose, musical, haunted doll, spirit, paranormal. Crew, <laughs> the dark, evil, rebellious spirit. <laughs> Nika, haunted doll, Victorian, 17 inches, paranormal Paris, wealthy socialite, drug fueled parties, art, and nudity. Whoa, back up. Tootie, the haunted cat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Again, we get to keep going? This is so yeah. exciting. Soul sucking, very haunted doll post. <laughs> Justin, the patriotic boy, died on the 4th of July from the store. Justin is an adorable patriotic boy that passed when the 4th of July while blowing up fireworks that blew as if complete oh, fades off. <laughs> America. Am Amber, the girl who passed on Xmas Day. Amber passed on Xmas Day. Her Christmas tree caught on fire while she was sleeping. <laughs> Chappy Cheeks Chester looks cool with glasses. <laughs> Chung and Heng, the Asian twins. Buy one, get one free. I left a lot of the racist haunted st dolls out, but y'all, y'all, there were so many. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an editorial item. comment. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, that's in the doc, though. Sorry. Don't like it. Oh, that. yeah. Haunted <laughs> Dolls, G and Ling Ling, bonded siblings. Oh, Speaking boy. of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, hungry Harry died of obesity. <laughs> oh, that children's book sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Haunted Spirit Doll, vintage Italian Furga doll, lesbian Kelly, paranormal. <laughs> Christian Bettina, porcelain beauty doll in her communion dress, limited edition, certificate, haunted by a comforting angelic spirit. Lacey, croco doll, horror doll, haunted doll, voodoo doll, taxidermy, Halloween, gothic, Lolita, Dame Darcy, witchcraft. Please look at the pictures. Oh, oh my God. That was an editorializing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely got to look at that picture. Wow, 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 wow. Dame Darcy. <laughs> it's Kuko! Dark magic practices, Satanism haunted. <laughs> Bucktooth, ale the giant! <laughs> Alright, bump girl. Sexy Tanya lady in red just seems normal now. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy haunted doll, abandoned no arms, circus, freak baby, decayed oddities. Oh, uh, don't click. All right, what did we learn of plus? Oh, dolls are creepy? Weird. Cool. We're out of time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <stay go. laughs> that, that's what I learned, too. We went a little over. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks so much, uh, King Calamari, for your art for the last two hours. Yes, it's been wonderful. Um, <laughs> and we're going to be back in about seven minutes for the Daniel Songer Comedy Entertainment Hour. <laughs> Uh, stay tuned. It's going to be something. I have no idea what it's going to be. We'll find out. It's going to be entertaining and comedic. <laughs> it will. <laughs>